guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kindness i am a nigerian living and filming in Venice, lithuania on today's topic i just wanted to answer some of the questions that i have received either on instagram on the link that i have put in the description bar for the lithuanian update video and as well as some of the comments that i had received in that video so guys without any further ado i officially welcome all the new subscribers to my youtube channel and if you're new here you've not subscribed but you're watching this video you've even sent me for your question but you've not subscribed why why are you like that anyway guys make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video let's get right into answering the questions please bear with me i'll be looking down just so i can read these questions out so the first question is are there graduate programs for nursing or physiotherapy in lithuania absolutely there are masters for nursing and physiotherapy you just need to research i'm gonna insert you a link so make sure you check out that link put it on browser put it on a browser and research yeah the second question is i need to know about phd in lithuania are there phd programs in lithuania absolutely there are phd programs in lithuania yes there are there are international students that are doing their phd here again make sure you to check it check for the course that you like to do and the options and also the what is it called like the benefits that you get as a phd student but yes there are phd programs in lithuania the next question is also uh the, actually the person that asked the phd question also asked can i travel with my kids as a phd student mm -hmm. Usually your visa is given to you like on a single person basis. So if you want to apply for a visa for yourself and the family, then you must absolutely show that you are financially capable to take care of yourself and the kids. So usually the uh, visa body that will be able to make that decision based on your finances and the documents that you provide. So I think that will be possible if you have that possible, that like that finance, especially they are doing PhD. If you are doing a bachelor's, then I know that that is not possible but if you're doing a phd mostly the, you get like some kind of support but you need to provide all that proof to the embassy so yeah the next question is hi i love your video i'm an undergraduate student and i would love to study please how do i go about it i'm in nigeria now how do you go about it you go about it by first researching and finding the course that you would like to study once you found the course that you would like to study then apply usually the application fees around 100 euros for most universities so apply for that when you get admission then the school will provide you all the necessary documents that you need to go to the uh lithuania to the embassy usually uh, in, in nigeria you're writing me from nigeria so in nigeria they have the vfs global team so that particular organization collects all the documents from people who are applying to come to lithuania and they take it and then they ship it to india or to turkey or somewhere they process the visa and then they return it back to nigeria and they give it to you so this process is actually quite easy now uh, when it comes to the visa process so but yeah apply find the school apply get admission then apply for visa and boom you'll be in lithuania but if you like to see like a step to step to step guide on how you can do this please let me know and i'll be happy to share like bring somebody in or share with you how you can actually do the process yourself also in the description bar there are uh, contacts for agents that you can absolutely reach out to they can guide you and they can you know tell you what you need to do and how you can find the courses much quicker and provide you more information on how you can go about applying to come to lithuania for your studies the next question i have is i would like to find out if you know any Ghanaian student living in lithuania i'm Ghanaian. yes we have of course we do have Ghanaian. hey my chale people yeah we do have Ghanaians here we actually have a group that i I manage this group is called africans in lithuania so make sure to check out that group uh, we are just on facebook at the moment so absolutely look after that group if you are planning to come to lithuania and you've decided to come to lithuania i know that you're just thinking about it but make sure to join that group and i'll be happy to approve you so yeah yeah we do have uh, Lith um, Ghanaians in lithuania absolutely the next question i have is can one convert from tourist to work visa in lithuania um well this will be possible for example on your work visa and then you get a job in lithuania the good thing about this whole process is 
definitely you need to check out my video where i talked about the new policies in lithuania the good thing is if you will get this uh, job since the new policy allows you to start immediately then this will be possible when you are already working then your process your work permit is actually in process so this will be possible in that way but definitely check out that video make sure to check it out it will give you more insight if you can do this but yeah it might be possible only in that way the next question is which process is easier schooling or permanent residence okay schooling or permanent residence definitely schooling because the next question is actually how do i get a permanent resident permit the net the best option uh, not the best option but the easier process is schooling because to answer the next question to get a permanent residence in lithuania you need to have stayed in lithuania for five consecutive years and this does not count in the period that your visa was valid so let's say that you, you come to lithuania or you had a visa you came to Lithuania with a visa that was lasting for one year. So throughout the one year that you're using your visa is not calculated in the five years. So you need to stay additional five years in order to be able to apply for the permanent residence permit. And to apply for that, you also need to write the language exam and you need to show proficiency on A2 level, I believe. And then you also need to provide like your place of living document, which is like basically where do you live in Lithuania. But that is not such a big deal, this one. But yeah, those are mostly what you need. So this is how you can get a permanent residence and schooling is definitely easier because it's not like um canada it's not like canada where people can actually apply from nigeria or from anywhere and they get a permanent residence there's a process to this one in lithuania question is are there samples for lithuanian cv that is resume uh guys just google online i think they use the standard european uh resume so definitely check you uh google and you should have more information on what kind of cv they have in in eu so yeah but this should work another question i have is are there it based jobs in lithuania and how much do they pay <laughs> are there it based jobs in lithuania yes of course i think most of the jobs are actually it based so yes there are and how much do they pay it depends on the level if it's an entry level if it's a middle level if it's a senior level all the prices all the salary would differ in those levels so, so the good thing about lithuania is that most of the time or not most of the time, the policy actually requires employers to mention the salary that they are looking to hire the person for. So normally they will start like, or they will put it like 500 to 800 euros. So you would always see a range. So average, an average of like entry to middle level would be around... Um, 2500 to 3000 so that would be a range that people in the entry to mid level it jobs will probably get paid after taxes somebody else asked how can i get a job on personal health care social worker or caregiving job i did put some links in my video where i talked about the the new policies in lithuania so definitely check out those links and see if you can find jobs that are in this area if you find them then you apply if they hire you that's just the process that's how you go about a job in that area you definitely need to look for it and you need to apply and then if they hire you you get a job and then they do the work permit for you another question which is also very similar how can i get a job offer uh by applying guys you need to apply you need to search you know you need to i would advise you to get your cv ready get your cover letter ready so check out linda reina also check out bridget is it bridget or brigitta and they'll be able to help you with your um you know preparing for your cv and then you'll be able to apply for a job and get hired this question is can i work and study and please what's the process yes you can work and study i already answered this question in my video if you're doing your masters yes you can work and study if you're doing your bachelor's yes you can work and study if you're doing your phd yes you can work and study what is the process apply for visa apply to school when you come here then you find a job and when you find a job you can work remember if you're doing your bachelor's you only have four hours in a day to work if you're doing your master's you have full time now if you're doing your phd you have a full time possibility to work while studying so yes you can work what is the process we already answered that question somebody asked how much should i budget before starting the process to come to lithuania um it depends on the program you're taking some courses are like two thousand euros some courses are like ten thousand euros so the budget is depending on the cost that you're taking now if you're talking about housing and feeding uh you know what I, I think i should probably make a video about this as well on how much but i already have videos and i explained to you check out that video i explained the 
average amount that a student would probably need in a month where you're living here but let's say around just feeding and rent if you're staying in a dormitory around 300 euro per month that's what you'll be needing more or less around that average price and then if you're talking about your school fees which is probably paid like per year this should be around 2000 2500 if you are taking like a medical course and usually like 8000 10000 so yeah the budget is all on you you need to research how much are you going to spend you need to be aware of those things okay next question is how much can a working student make working in lithuania i actually got so many of you asking me this question which again i have to make a breakdown video but if you're working and studying you need to be aware that you might be able to do like uh like uh bartender jobs um uh you know all those mini jobs because they are four hours a day and so mostly companies don't want to hire somebody that works per time so you might be able to find like mini jobs here and there so normally uh these jobs will pay you around 2.50 euro per hour three euro per hour um you know four euro per hour five euro per hour and also mostly you'll be making around the minimum wage in lithuania by the end of the month around that amount more or less but baseline that's where that's how much you likely be making if you're working part-time the next question is are there scholarship positions in lithuania are there scholarship positions um you know what most of the scholarship positions here are for the locals they're for the lithuanians that are living here that are studying so but they do have from time to time some scholarship for a master's student and also if you're doing your bachelor degree program here when you are studying you get like a scholarship doing your study so if you're doing well in school you might get like stipends for each semester depending on your grades and some universities I'm trying to recall right now. Some universities might actually take over the, the school fees entirely or 50% there about for the next semester. So it definitely depends on your grades. Um, but mostly they are not like scholarships for coming to Lithuania. But check your local uh, listing. That is your country or your state. They sometimes offer uh, scholarships for people to actually come abroad and study. But in Lithuania, I've just explained how that works. Somebody asked, the last question actually is is the tuition affordable yeah the tuition is affordable you cannot compare it to studying in america or studying in uk or studying in in where switzerland for example so absolutely the tuition is affordable but uh, am i comparing it to the quality of education nope i am not but the tuition is affordable you will get an average of 1500 to uh, 10,000 depending on the program you are taking and depending on the cost but those are the questions that we can cover for this video like I mentioned I don't want this video to be super duper long I have so many interesting videos upcoming on this channel that will really really help you decide if Lithuania should be your choice and how to go about coming here but yeah one of my subscribers recommended that i start shouting you people are out so the first shout out is definitely going to confidence Ezude, who actually gave me and wrote me i'm like yo we need to start shouting us out so what's up confidence thank you guys thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you for subscribing thank you for coming back checking out my videos and especially like you guys that watch my videos from nigeria and africa and like i know the internet situation you guys are the real mvps like some of you tell me i'm downloading your video and i'm just like yo like the support the support and somebody was commenting on my video and were like let's get this video let's get this channel to 1000 subscribers yes 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 absolutely agree so guys make sure you subscribe to this channel next video i'll be shouting out the first person that comments on the video but yeah thank you for watching this video make sure to like subscribe and i will see you in my next video goodbye guys bye